Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome back to lockdown. Uh, it's my, my sad face. Um, you're going to see uh, a lot more of us again uh, online over the next, hopefully, just four weeks uh, to support uh, you through this period and to be together uh, in, in some way. Uh, so one of the things we're going to do is to have uh, continue uh, our daily Mass, but online. So I'll be celebrating Mass uh, on weekdays, uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at 9 a.m., on Thursday, uh, we'll celebrate Mass at 7 p.m. And then on Friday, we'll go back to 9 a.m. Uh, with our usual live stream Mass at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. I won't see you, but you'll see me uh, there just to give us some kind of nourishment and to, and to feel connected to our church uh, and in our relationship with the Lord. Um, we need him more than ever uh, during this period, and lots of people do. So let's, let's stay closer in this way. Um, we're also going to release uh, a couple of update videos a week. These will be fairly regular, so you'll know uh, where, uh, when they're coming. Um, we ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber to the Parish YouTube channel already, please do subscribe. It's Royal Docs Catholics, or you can click on the link uh, in the description box below, and then just click subscribe and set reminders for the videos that are coming up. Um, the reason I emphasize the importance, uh, again, of subscribing to our YouTube channel is we, we're going to try and use less uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and make YouTube our primary kind of medium with, with which to communicate you, um, just to, to kind of uh, put everything in, in one place and to stop us scrolling on our phones. Um, I think uh, one of the things uh, in lockdown which I've really learned is to use my phone less because uh, I want to see real people's faces and uh, I want to be with real people. And um, as much as we can do that, although it's hard, um, we should really appreciate uh, the contact we'd have with one another. I know that's something which I've really missed uh, during the first lockdown and enjoyed having people back here. So um, let's try and prioritise as much as we can, looking forward to seeing each other face to face and um, keeping our screen time down as much as possible, maybe, if that's possible. Um, our food bank is still open. So on Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 to 8 p.m., our food bank will still be open for your deliveries. And uh, you don't need me to tell you, during these cold months, uh, people need uh, a lot more uh, help uh, uh, with food, uh, with warm supplies. And uh, with the economy continuing to suffer, I think the need is only going to increase. So if you can spare anything, if you can donate in any way, whether it's food, supplies or other things, uh, please bring them along to our food bank uh, at those times. If you're not able to make it physically, uh, you can um, uh, donate to the parish and make it specific what you're donating for by going to our website, uh, royal.faith slash giving, and then just send an email and say you've donated this amount of money for the food bank, and we'll make sure that's reserved for that. Um, or um, perhaps more simply, uh, you can email us uh, shopping vouchers. Uh, Asda and Tesco uh, are the ones we use mostly. Uh, so just email that to us at customhouse at diceseofbrentwood.org. I'm sure that will flash up on the screen at some point. Speaking of food bank, our, our, our food bank has kind of become um, a soup kitchen for, for the homeless. Uh, we have uh, men and women come to us uh, on all of those days of the week when we're open uh, for, for food and warm drink. It feels like a, a real honour to be able to supply for uh, this need. But our brother at the bottom of society, unfortunately, also need warmth during these cold months. So if you can donate things like um, quilts or, or warm coats, things which will... Uh, may not be the height of fashion, but which will keep people warm uh, in the cold, then please do that uh, as well. Uh, no, um, no, no fancy uh, uh, high heel shoes as we had a delivery of the other day. Just, just keep it simple uh, and warm. Uh, and that would be much appreciated. And again, like while we may not be able to see each other, um, this is a way in which we stay closely connected and, and really, really build up the kingdom of God uh, in our neighbourhood and in our parish. Um, there will be more news uh, coming out about what's on offer in the parish. We are kind of responding to what's uh, coming out with the government and also still waiting uh, on, on our bishops to say what's, uh, what's possible, although we do have some guidelines. Um, when it comes to private prayer, we want to keep the church open at certain hours uh, uh, of the day, every day for private prayer, and I'll have more information on that uh, in the coming days. So that's why it's important to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get that update and ensure that while we may not be able to celebrate together, while we might not be able to have mass together, we still might be able to pray before the Lord, uh, in front of the altar, and before him in the blessed sacrament. And I think that's so important. 
I'm definitely going to be praying more uh, during this period in the time that's given to me. I'll be praying uh, for myself, uh, but also and especially for all of you. Um, so in whatever way we can, let's stay close together spiritually and look forward to seeing each other soon. Thank you.